I'm so excited to see how you guys use this because I love this edit. So I'm really, really excited to share with you guys. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video that a lot of you guys requested, um, which is how I edit my Instagram pictures. And um, you guys requested this because I started using a new edit. I also started using a new editing like software or app. Um, so I recently switched um, from Visco editing, which is what I used to do on like my personal pictures, my personal Instagram, and my blog Instagram, to using Lightroom, which I get Lightroom through my college for free, which is amazing, shout out Clemson. But um, I know it's expensive, so I understand if some of you guys are like eh about it and still want to use, you know, a different app or something like that. But I personally think that it's definitely worth it to invest in Lightroom. It is so much better, you guys. It's so good. I love using it. I seriously recommend it. It's awesome. Um, so I'm just going to walk you guys through how I get my preset, how I apply it to my photos, how I got the preset on my phone so I can do it easily for Instagram, and then how I kind of adjust my preset based on the different lighting and different things like that in the pictures. If you guys don't know what a preset is, basically in Lightroom you can copy and paste settings from one picture onto any picture you want. Multiple pictures, one, two, whatever. So you can copy the contrast, saturation, exposure, all of those things, and then paste it on another picture. Creating a preset is basically taking those copied settings and putting them into like a file thing, I guess, and then clicking add preset to each photo. So you can kind of see what each photo looks like on with the filter on it. So I like that because I think it's easier, a lot easier, especially when you're making like a lot of edits on pictures at once. So obviously for my blog, I want to edit, you know, 10 photos at once or probably more because I've taken an absurd amount of pictures, but I want to edit so many photos at once. So going through and editing each and every one of them individually is really hard to do. But just adding the preset to all of them and then going in and maybe adjusting and like lightening a little bit, that is so much easier and makes for honestly better pictures altogether. Um, so that is my little rambling explanation of why you should use Lightroom, what it is, what's a preset, why I use it, blah, blah, blah. So now we're going to go ahead and get started with the fun stuff, which is teaching you guys how you can get the same feed as me and do all the same things with your awesome photos. I want to see how you do it. I'm so excited to show you guys. So before I start showing you like on my phone how you edit it and everything, I'm going to talk a little bit about the preset that I use. Um, I was like looking at different Instagrammers profiles and I really liked the kind of like warm um, orange tone pictures that I've been seeing everywhere lately. I'm sure you guys have been seeing them everywhere too. It's really trendy right now and I personally really like that. So I was kind of on the hunt for something that I could get for free because college student, I'm on a budget you guys, sorry about that. But totally if you have the money, support influencers like Tezza MB, I'll link her presets below, and different influencers like that who do sell their presets because it's worth it because those presets are, you know, they're professionals and they're really, really good. So if you have the money, support them. I do not. <laughs> so I tried to find somebody who kind of did it for free. So I will link where I got my preset down below. And basically what I did is I went on my computer, searched for the type of preset that I wanted, and I downloaded it. Downloading, super simple. Everybody should know how to do it. If you don't know how to do it, look up a tutorial, I guess. It's kind of, it's it's super simple, but it's kind of hard to explain, if that makes sense. So it's pretty easy. You just download it, get it into your um, Lightroom on your computer, and then the complicated part is getting it on your phone for editing like Instagram photos. And it's actually not as hard as I thought. So basically to get it on your phone, what you do is you're going to apply the preset to like different photos, a few different ones, and then put them in an album on your Lightroom. One album with all of those in it. And once you put them all in an album, 
which I'll show you guys in a minute, like my album where I did that on um, my Lightroom. You're going to make sure that your Lightroom on your computer is linked with the Lightroom on your phone. So there should be something up in the corner and you just got to make sure that they're linked. Usually they are, but just double check it and then if they are linked, then it should show up on your phone, the album that you were like putting all of those in. So once that is on your phone, this is where I'm going to start showing you kind of how to edit on my phone. You're going to go to your Lightroom app and you're going to go down to mine is called my feed preset and you go to that album whatever you want to name it doesn't matter to me and you're going to go ahead and go to your photo one of the photos that you edited and you're going to go ahead and create a preset from it and you're going to go ahead and copy all of those things that you want in it so light color effects detail etc name your preset i'm just going to name mine insta and you're going to go ahead and save it. So I had already done this and it was called my feed I think. So if I apply either of those to the picture it's the same exact thing. So then I'm going to go to my preset samples which is how I'm going to show you like the pictures I'm going to show you how to edit on. And in this album here's a picture I took at the Louvre. Miss Paris. Um, and what you're going to do is basically scroll over here at the bottom and you're going to go click presets and you're well it should show up and there's all these different categories so like you could be in color when you come in or you could be in something else go down to the bottom to user presets there's two that i have on here which are both the exact same preset that i used um insta is just the one i just showed you guys so i'm gonna apply insta and that is the photo so phone's ringing nice Okay, so this photo I really like. It doesn't really need to be adjusted, but if I wanted to, I really like really light photos. You probably can see that from my feed. So I would just up the exposure a little bit, and it would be exactly what I want it to be. Um, this is another picture from Paris. I'm going to go ahead and apply the preset. What am I doing? The wrong thing. Do, do, do. Apply the preset. And I'll apply the my feed, which is the same exact thing. See, this picture I think still looks really good, but it's not as good as the last one. So I'm gonna still up this exposure. I usually always up the exposure. I just like really like a high exposure, and I think it looks better like that. Here's a picture um, from Positano um, when I went to Italy, and I'm just going to apply the preset and up the exposure once again to what I want it and then also I can up the highlights which I think I'm going to do in this case scenario I'm going to make the contrast a little bit different and there you go I love this photo so that's super awesome um, that I can apply this and then still adjust it and it will still look like basically the same so it's super cool that like each photo, even though different, can have the same like look and feel and that's what makes your feed really cohesive. This photo of coffee that was really good. I really want another coffee right now. Should I have another coffee? I don't know. I already have one today. But up the exposure. Voila. Beautiful. Here's some pictures of me. Let's see. What picture? Okay, this is a good one. Like, this picture to me looks super, super, super average. And when I apply... When I apply the preset to it... And lighten, lighten it... I think it looks just so much cooler. Like, I really do. Like, I don't know if you guys can really see it. But you can do the before and after before is here and then after I apply the preset it looks literally so much better like I think it looks so much better 
So that's really cool that you can do it to kind of more average photos. Okay guys, that is all for my how I edit my Instagram photos video. I hope that was helpful. I hope that you guys can start using this for your feeds. I'm so excited to see if you use it. Please like send me pictures, like Instagram DM me or something. I'll link my Instagram down below. Um, but I'm so excited to see how you guys use this because I love this edit. So I'm really, really excited to share with you guys. Um, some other things I'm gonna link down below. Um, this shirt, I'll try to find this. Um, it's a turtleneck from Zara. I got it in Florence when I studied abroad. Um, these earrings that I'm wearing are from Princess Polly. Um, I can find some dupes because they're sold out. Um, but also, I'm going to be linking where I got my free preset. So you can click that link, you can download it. It'll say like download preset here. Um, go to that link, download is the same one I have. Um, and then also a tutorial about how to download onto your computer a Lightroom preset and then a tutorial on how to get it from your computer to your phone like how to sync your Lightrooms because I know that that part was kind of confusing it was just it would be hard for me to film on the computer and then on the phone and it's easier if you see just like a professional one um, so I'll link that down below if you're having any troubles with that at all um, if you have any other questions feel free to comment Instagram DM me reach out um, let me know what you think um so give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe because that would mean the world to me um thank you guys so much i'll see you in my next video